hello this is just a little video to show you um some of the results of the natural dyeing i did uh over the weekend and um the first lot these are dyed with red cabbage i couldn't remember what they were dyed with there they've got some really nice dark edges which i really like um i played around with these because if you add baking powder or lemon juice to um, things like this you can get different effects so there are some sort of splodges of white that I think are mostly coming through from that this was um, clearly under some other sheets that's come out really nicely that's the bottom of my baking pan which that's never come out before but for some reason it did and this one you can't really might not be able to see it on camera but it does have some kind of slight pinky shades that's some graph paper that's some squared paper that's come out really nicely yeah this i just dribbled some lemon juice on some of these just to that again has got that um the bottom of the pan on it which is really nice um yeah the one thing that was good with this stuff is that um, I was able to put this outside. This actually all dried outside, which because the first time I dyed with red cabbage, I found that it was a bit had a bit of an odd smell to it. But just putting it, letting it dry outside, even if it was just overnight, that's got some pinky shades in it too. I don't know if you can tell, but maybe not. I think it's too too pale. Um, this one's got yellow in it. I I put this in the same pan after I'd just been dying with turmeric, and turmeric is, you know, it's just a bit of a. It's like coriander, isn't it? You know, if you put coriander in something, if you're not careful, everything tastes that kind of soapy dishwater coriander smell, and turmeric's like that with sort of dying. If you're not careful, everything comes up yellow. These are um, some kitchen towel that I was using to whip up. And that's got the bluish bits, a red cabbage, and I dribbled some lemon juice on that. Obviously, there's a lot of turmeric. Um, but those have come out really pretty. That was very turmeric -y. Um These, let me just check. Yeah, these were red cabbage too. You can really tell the pinky shades on this one. That was lemon juice. Just while it was in the tray, waiting to go in the up to um, go into the oven, but it ended up not going in the oven. But as it was waiting, actually, this one might have. This one may have. Um, I just dribbled some lemon juice on it, and you get these kind of very beautiful colour differences. This paper was great too. This paper was from, I think Poundland. And as you can see, the pink line on it has sort of gone all fuzzy, which I love. It's really thin paper too. I mean, it's rubbish if you were doing anything with it other than this, but um, yeah, that's got some really nice pinky shades on it. That one's got some yellow in it. Coriander, such a, coriander is such a thug. But I don't mind that. I'm quite happy to have... That's really nice, isn't it? Um, yeah, I'm really happy to have all of that going. Um, yeah, more coriander. Not coriander. Why do I keep calling it coriander? I've brought coriander into the mix. Nobody needed that. And it's taken over. Turmeric. Um, so yeah, this is the turmeric dyed paper. You couldn't really confuse it for anything else, could you? Um, this actually is two sheets that are stuck together. Yeah, turmeric. What can I tell you about turmeric? Well, the the way I dyed the red cabbage ones is that I put the red cabbage in a pan 
covered the covered the stuff with water and boiled it for about half an hour and then used the water you can do that twice but the second lot will come out paler um with turmeric i brought it to a boil and then let it simmer for about 20 minutes and then i put it in a jug ready for me to dye with it when i came to dye with it it had separated into water and powder again and then once you put it in a pan and put paper in it it separates again so you kind of have to keep agitating it and you'll see that a lot of these have this kind of powdery residue which i'm going to try i might try sanding they're quite dry you can feel it but it's quite dry um but it did glue a lot of the pages together so it was really hard to dry this stuff because just getting the pages apart was a trial as you can see once they're dry they come apart an awful lot easier that is amazing isn't it look at that color um yeah that's got some of that how do we stuff on it look some of it might brush off but some of it might need to be a bit more forceful with but i have to say i rather like it deal with that some of it's torn and stuff and i don't mind that either this looks like this picked up something else on the pan that's quite interesting yeah this one's got a lot of residue on it which i kind of quite like it does feel quite gritty the paper itself does feel quite gritty so i might have to have a little sand of that the paper's beautiful as you can see a lot of this got ripped because it was so hard on the paper i would really suggest if you're going to die with turmeric do a bit at a time pour only a bit in your pan and dip your paper in and take it straight out do not leave it sitting which is what i did because i like strong color so that was my choice turned out to be Perhaps not the best, but I do love the colour, I have to say. This again had some lemon juice on, which has left some lighter splodges. This has got some purple on it, look. So that's picked up from maybe the red cabbage. Or maybe the cherry stuff I did. The back of that's very pretty. Beautiful though. If I was going to do like mixed media stuff, I'd leave this as it is because that's just the texture's amazing. This um, these circles that is a pizza pan that I always use for drying on because it just leaves amazing marks on. So yeah, buy yourself a cheap pizza pan if you like lots of marks. That's definitely picked up some blue, hasn't it? Yeah, that got ripped up entirely. There's another one. It looks sort of almost like map pictures, doesn't it? That sort of overhead thing. I realised when I'd um, finished that my turmeric in the jug, some of the turmeric had escaped. So now I have a permanent yellow ring on my kitchen counter, which is nice. As my other half has been at it with uh, one of those sort of you know super sponges or whatever they're called oh, stunning yeah it is a shame everything's stuck but i know for next time that one's nice isn't it beautiful color so this next lot is mint and it comes up with a minty yellowy greeny kind of color it smells slightly of mint actually Um, mint at the bottom of there that here there is some I did with yarrow if you're going to boil up yarrow and again I boiled these up I read one article that said you need to boil them for about an hour 
if you're going to boil yarrow, do mint at the same time because yarrow smells absolutely vile. Um, I think I got a better colour from this in the first half an hour and then I had to go out um, and I left it to cool in the pan and I think it went a kind of a, a slightly mucky colour. See, look, there's some... Some of this will be picked up from the cherry. I did. Oh, that's fab. Um, yeah, and it went a slightly mucky colour and I'm not convinced I wouldn't have got a better colour. Mind you, this is a really pretty pale green. That's quite yellow also. It's quite amazing how one plant can do so much stuff. And I, it has to be said, I did also... See, some of these are very pale. Um... It does have to be said, I used the mint in my garden that was not the best. The stuff you wouldn't use for cooking. See, this is all quite, that's almost going sludgy. And, and that's what I meant by, I wonder if letting the mint leaves sit in the pan, see that's quite brown, whether that sort of made it go a bit darker than it would have done so more trials I think required on that but it's a good tip if you're going to boil anything nasty boil up mint leaves at the same time because the mint and turmeric and coriander will be a bully and just get rid of it this was dyed with cherries it's totally not amazingly different to the red cabbage dyed paper but I bought some cherries and they were fairly awful and rather than just throw them away I thought sorry I just knocked the camera I'd have a go now this is before I got clever with my lemon juice I wish I'd have had a play but I do like how this has come out it smelt amazing the juice from the cherries again I pitted them which was a bit of a pain because um, I didn't know I know apple pips have got um, they've got something poisonous in haven't they <laughs> I thought oh my god I don't know where the cherry pips do and I could have googled it but I just decided to pick the cherries instead you know because you know why well, just look at google which you could make more work for yourself so I um that's lovely, isn't it? That's come out beautifully. I um, pitted the cherries, popped them in a pan with some water. And, I mean, I didn't use a lot of water. That's quite interesting. At the edges, where this has clearly been overlapping other people, this has gone much pinker than the red cabbage, which got, sort of goes that dusky blue. That's quite interesting. Um... Yeah, I don't put a lot of water in with them. I maybe double the amount of stuff. Um, so if there's like, to use an American measurement, a cup of um, cherries, I'd put two cups of water in because I wanted it to be quite good. This stuff... I thought this this stuff might be a bit sticky. It isn't at all. And I think the colours... Isn't that amazing? That's got all sorts of colours in. Um, yeah, it's not sticky at all. If you were just wondering whether... the, the um, That's that like pizza pan, isn't that awesome? If you're wondering the... Almost black, look that end. If you're worried it would be sticky, it doesn't turn out that way at all. That's beautiful. Roll on my one pound pizza pan. What a joy. It's absolutely rubbish that pizza pan. I've killed it for doing pizzas in it. I have to put greaseproof paper in the bottom of it now because everything sticks to it. It's taken all the Teflon off of it. And this is another one that's got holes in, another pan that's got holes in. Uh, and the last stuff is yarrow. 
that one's a fairly mucky coloured one that one's nice this is very I don't know whether it's coming through but it's quite olive green there's not much on that one that's come out almost minty green look so not fascinating yes it's very kind of it's a green with some real yellow in it um, as I said this is from Yarrow I use the if you know what yarrow looks like it's got a stem and then these kind of frond like leaves I use both the leaves and the flowers um, and it smells medicinal it smells like really strong cough syrup with mixed with cabbage so um, I think I said on Tracy Fox's group it was like Jaeger Savoy, like Jaegermeister mixed with Savoy cabbage water, which isn't the nicest. So that's where doing your mint at the same time comes in. But it does come up with pretty colours. Um, but it was quite weak. I did put too much water in. I think I could have had much more intense colours. I, I wonder if this is the teflon coming off the pan. Um... Yeah, I think I could have got more intense colours. Although that's amazing, isn't it? Um, yeah, I think I could have got better colours. But I have to say, I'm not sure I... I'm not sure whether I'll go for yarrow again. I mean, yarrow is an amazing plant. You know, do read up the health properties of yarrow. It's astonishing. Um, they used it in, like, battlefield medicine to cauterise... Well, to sort of stop bleeding. Um, it's amazing stuff, but yeah, whether I'll do that again, that's a beautiful colour though, and if I do, it will definitely be with my side helping with mint, but yeah, this was um, a real experimental run, and I'm really, really pleased with the results. I am almost definitely going to do turmeric again. Whether I'll do yarrow again. See, it does look much, so much prettier than I remembered, isn't that? Hmm. Cherries are a bit expensive to do that with. It was only because I'd got a bad, a bad load. Um, but they're quite expensive in this country, so probably too expensive unless you've got a cherry tree. Tell you what, the cherry papers are also kind of soft. They're not hard. They've dried in and up really softly, which is quite interesting. The turmeric stuff's dried really crinkly, but the cherry hasn't at all. No, this isn't turmeric. This is uh, not a yeah. It's mint. The turmeric is crunchy though. You're very grungy. It's gritty. So yeah, I'll um when I have to come around to have a play with that and sand in the turmeric, I'll put some results up. But I'm almost definitely going to try turmeric again because um, I think it just was amazing. And I this is about the second or third time I've done red cabbage, second time, and I just. You can get such a lot of colour and when you put lemon juice on it and this kind of planet pan of sort of purpley blue liquid suddenly goes pink it's just it's like alchemy it's fantastic um so yeah that's my dying if you have any questions of anything i've not covered uh let me know and i will do my best to ask i'm not an expert i just i'm someone who basically just had a play for a few hours um so yeah hope that was useful for you